All right, who is the last Pokemon? Is it Garganical? Squawkability. <laughs> Why is it Squawkability, man? This Dragalge team got second place at an online tournament really early in Series 2, and I'm pretty excited because I didn't even know Dragalge got Haze. Even when I was looking up Hazes, I never considered Dragalge, so let's see if it is going to be able to put it in work in today's episode. This team features Snow with Dragalge. You have a few different ways to play this team with a Snow lead that can go for strong damage or live a lot of attacks with a War Veil alongside the Snow Defense Boost for Ice Types. You can also go for a more passive option with Arcanine and Iron Hands lead that can set up for a Choice Scarf Great Tusk that outspeeds any Paradox Pokemon without a booster energy and threaten an Oko to sweep in the back. Dragalge is a cool Pokemon on this team with haste support for Dundozo, but also does a lot of damage with the Adaptability ability. Try saying that five times fast, making same type attacks gain a double damage multiplier instead of a normal 1.5 boost. If you would like to check out the creator or the details of the team, they will be linked in the description. Annihilate. What the heck is this team? Squawk ability? Klefki. That's a solo Tatsugiri there with Storm Drain. The Annihilate, Mousehold, and Garganical. What the heck is this team? <laughs> what am I looking at right here? Uh. Okay. I don't know what I want to go here. I mean, I definitely like Great Tusk. Great Tusk is fantastic here. I think maybe a Bomb Snow plus the Iron Bundle is pretty good here for the most part. Yeah, I'd say it is. I definitely bring the Great Tusk and then Iron Hands, I'd assume. I don't really like Arcanine too much. It's either Iron Hands or it's going to be these... Dragauchi. You know what? I'll try out Dragauchi. I think Dragauchi has potential because anything Terra Grass, I like it more for. Because I can actually pressure like Terra Grass, like Organical if it is going to be. I don't know what the heck this team is, so got to cover for all bases, I suppose. Because what am I supposed to expect from Squawk Ability, man? <laughs> Why is this a Squawk Ability? We're going to see Mousehold Annihilate, but I don't think we're seeing the Squawk Ability then. <laughs> Obama Snow Iron Bundle. Booster energy. Okay. I'm willing to take trades here. I think trades are really good. I think Aurora... Actually, Aurora Veil seems really solid, though. Because I don't really care about Rage Fist. This is a Drain Punch that's more scary. So I'm going to go for Energy Ball into the Mousehold immediately. And I'm going to go for Aurora Veil. Then I go for Blizzard, I think. So, set up the Aurora Veil. I don't think they Encore. They're probably going to go for the Self Beat up here. Yep, okay. That works. Because again, I'm not that worried about Rage Fist at the moment. I think the only concern is I don't have speed control. So this could get a little bit awkward, but we'll see. Rage Fist shouldn't KO, especially with Aurora, Aurora Veil and Snow Boost. They're slower than my Bomb of Snow with the Annihilate. That is something I'm surprised. Special Defense Drop I don't think matters here. Brain Punch. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at how little damage that they did. Look at how little damage they did. That's with the Snow Boost. Okay, and Aurora Veil. Let's go for a blizz. Let's just go for a double blizzard, I suppose. Actually, I should always blizzard and earth power to cover for the fire Terra. Yeah. Which we're going to go for. I could go for like freeze chances. I don't think it's really necessary when I can try and pile as much damage. The only problem is if I get the define activation, but it should be okay. They do protect mouse hold, which is not too surprising because they want to keep the friend guard around as much as possible. Or they just stall out here. I don't know if they Terra here. I kind of want to try to Blizzard now, I suppose, with a Bomb of Snow. Because, like, I always Blizzard with my Iron Bundle here into the Mouse Hold. I think this is okay. They're stalling out the Aurora Veil turns, which makes a lot of sense. But the Rage Fist is just not doing enough for you right now. And again, I have Great Tusk in the back, so I don't really care about it if they do have a Terra. So let's go for a Blizzard here. I could go for the Terra Ice, but with Friend Guard, the damage is just not worth it. Alright. Blizzard. They also didn't bulk up, which is nice, because again, Scarf, Great Tusk here is really solid here. Follow me. Okay. Doesn't change anything. I am able to get a Blizzard off. This is going to KO, especially with that special defense drop guaranteeing it, in case it was like... So I mean, that's Mousehold was not special defense. I'm pretty sure Bundle Blizzard would just finish it off here. And then a second Blizzard. No friend guard on the Annihilate. Still takes it pretty well. Green Punch again. 
as you can see, just not doing any damage. They do get to heal up a bit, though. But at this point, I'm really liking my position. Really liking my position. With the Aurora Veil and the Great Tusk in the back. Just got to figure out how am I breaking through the rest of the team. Because that's really what's going to be a factor here. Going to be the Clefty coming out. Oh, they can have their own screens, I suppose. I do want to get rid of the Klefki. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Klefki. I feel like the damage I'm doing to Nihilip is just too little. It should be a light screen, so I'm going to Hydro Pump here in Earth Power. They protect the stall on our turn of the uh, Aurora Veil. Makes sense. Probably set up the light screen here. Yep. Perfect. So, really, really happy about this. Like, it wasn't a read I had to go for, but it was just... It's just, like, getting rid of everything around the Nihilip is huge for me. So, pretty happy about this. Yeah. Like, even if I don't pick up the knockout here, uh, I can double Blizzard the next turn. And I think I should knock out the Klefki through that. So, I'm just doing, like, so much damage right now, which is very pleasant. So, we also still have freeze chances if they don't miss the terrain this turn, but they probably reflect up here. What is the last Pokemon? That's all I'm concerned about. Garganical could be scary, because Garganical under screens? Uh, <laughs> that's not fun to deal with. We do see a reflect. Okay. Blizzard. Yeah, we should pick up a knockout into Klefki, I think, with the second Blizzard. Here, com here it comes. Yep. Okay. And we get a freeze. Which, to be fair, we've gone for, like, multiple Blizzards by now. So, <laughs> let's see if they unfall immediately. Not surprised that they would. Okay. Okay. The power of Hail. The power of... Or Snow, I guess. Snow stops now. And Aurora Veil's gone now. Okay. All right, who is the last Pokemon? Is it Garganical? Squawkability. <laughs> Why is it Squawkability, man? Intimidate. Oh, 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 man. It's Intimidate Squawkability. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, we might be screwed. Let's see. Let's go for Blizzards. Realistically, like, just go for Blizzards. Wow, I am amazing. Not even have to, like... Who needs snow? Brave Bird? Does that KO you? With the recoil? <laughs> well, we saw a Squawk Ability. That's all I'm going to say. Squawk Ability. Got a Brave Bird. Got an antenna off. And then peaced out. We hit the Blizzard just to seal up the game. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> Why can't I have this look at, like, every event I go to? <laughs> Uh, we we win the game. <laughs> That's oh my, I can't believe that actually happened. Okay, energy ball, hydro pump. <laughs> uh, Orville turn one. Just click multiple blizzard. The beat up did nothing because they didn't rage fist and I don't know how much the rage. I think rage fist was doing more than drain punch realistically because it was just boosted power at that point. But like getting the recovery was pretty nice, I suppose. Hydro pump, goodbye, annihilate, and uh, yeah, I guess just a little estimate snow, and don't let it get so many attacks off because Blizzard was a thing. <laughs> With the freeze at all, <laughs> squawk. I actually amazed that they brought squawk ability into a snow team though. <laughs> Annihilate, Mousehold, Arcanine, the Roaring Moon, Iron Bundle, and Amoongus. Okay. This is... Runnable, I suppose? I mean, this is going to be a little bit tricky. The Iron Bundle on their side is actually really tough because I don't have an attack with Iron Bundle that really hits their Iron Bundle. So that's going to be a little bit rough. I want to say no Arcanine's brought here. Iron Hands is like probably needed. I like Great Tusk, but I don't think it's needed. I don't think I go Hail Mode, actually. Yeah, Hail Mode is not that great here. I think I go with, like, Great Tusk to pressure the Mouse Hold with... I want to say it's one of... I bring a Bomb Snow? I feel like no a Bomb Snow is probably to play. I, I like Iron Bundle plus the Great Tusk lead. And then in the back, I think I have the iron hands and the dragalgy like snow mode is just really not great i think into this team they have arcanine they have the iron bundle which is really tough for me to break through so i'm trying to figure out like okay how can i pressure like the fast stuff and really it's going to come down to like okay what am i seeing lead wise because if i lead iron hands into this team and they lead mousehold annihilate 
very bad position to terror ghost and beat up immediately. Very bad position. So I don't think that's worth it. Like this, yeah. So the reason I led Great Tusk and Iron Bundle is because I can double up the mouse hold with a headlong rush and hydro pump and hopefully get the KO. <laughs> so we're gonna go for headlong rush into we're not PowerPoint up. Okay, with the headlong rush. <laughs> uh, let's just hydro pump in headlong rush the uh, mouse hold on hopefully terror ghost they, they go for follow me that works too okay that works for me i hit the hydro pump amazing that's a good start good damage and even if they bulk up that's not like a bad start for me at all because i do have to dragalgy and i they don't have a way to like self proc like a bunch of rage this po power right here so okay Brain punch is fine. We live. Yep. Perfect. 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 Okay. Good start. Good start. Uh, the iron bundle does probably. Well, if it's iron bundle, this is fine. I just go uh, iron hands and protect. I'd assume it's iron bundle coming out. That is iron bundle. Yeah, it is. Okay. Perfect. So I save great tusk for later. The problem is if they start stacking up bulk ups, but I have dragalgy, I guess. But I can't really set up a good position for it. I mean, I always just protect here and go out into my did i miss the booster energy i actually have i can't remember the booster energy <laughs> i'm gonna have to check that because uh if it's sash i do have to break the sash iron hands protect this is oh they protect themselves okay i don't have icy wind so like i don't think this is worth it and i don't think i risked the hy hydro pump if it is focus sash okay they did attack Nice, this is a really good position now. So I'm going to go for a brain punch here. I want to be super greedy and go for Blizzard just in case the Amoongus comes out. Well, if Amoongus comes out, then I just get in Dragology. Yeah, you know what? I think I just Hydro Pump because if it's Arcanine, they go to Arcanine. But if they go Amoongus, that's fine. And they give me the if they give me the Iron Bundle. I'll glad I take them on. I'll glad I take them on off your hands. They do switch out. So this is either Amoongus or this is into... Yeah, it's Amoongus. That's fine. Mr. Gouchy's in a really good spot now. Hydro Pump. I'm amazed we're landing these still. Okay. Green Punch. Yep. Okay, perfect. 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 Okay. Iron Bundle gone. I really hope that Dragalgy knocks out Amoongus. I really do. Okay, let's bring out the Dragalgy. Uh, the only problem is the Annihilate. I need to bait a Terra somehow. I mean, my play here is always to switch out the Great Tusk. And if I do KO, this is the play if I always KO, which is Terra Blast the uh, Amoongus slot this turn. Because then I start pressuring the Iron Hands. Or not, I, I pressure the Iron Bundle and I can switch to Iron Hands for Dragalgy the next turn. Because Dragalgy is really important for dealing with the Annihilate. Because it doesn't have boosted Rage Fist yet. It hasn't set up a bulk up yet. I'm feeling like I'm pretty happy about this spot right now. Alright. Terra with my Dragalgy. And Adaptability Terra Blast. Should do a lot. And by a lot, I mean shit KO. Bulk up perfect. Okay. Because the thing about Nylip is it's not KOing me fast enough right here. So here comes the Terra Blast. Into the Amoongus. Amoongus goes down. Perfect. If it's Terra Ghost, but I don't think Terra Ghost should be on an Nylip team on Iron Bundle. I'm just going to click Close Combat. I feel like it's way more likely to be Terra Ice, if anything. This should be... Uh this should be... Uh, this could be to protect... I mean, if it protects, it's fine. Like, I think my game plan is still the same, right? Where I go for the close combat into the... You and I go out in Iron Hands. The only problem is they have not teared yet. Which is super awkward. Like, I'll take Rage Fist plus Freeze Drive. They go for the combination. If they want to go for Icy Wind, that's okay. First, they have to live the close combat. Which, if they're Focus Ash, they do, right? But I'm okay with that. Iron Hands... Was combat nice. Focus Ash. Yep, it is Focus Ash. I was pretty sure I didn't see boost energy, so perfect. Alright. And 
Freeze dry. Yeah, they have to target the Dragalge. Perfect. They bulk up again. Yeah. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to go for a post combat once again and swap out into Dragalge. Yep. Because they probably protect here, but the Annihilate can't get rid of the Great Tusk. So I still out pressure with close combat the following turn if they protect the thing. And then I just haze away the boost. Yep. And I also get rid of my stat decreases, but it doesn't matter really. Or, well, it does mad now because I switch out the next, uh, the turn after. So this is Drain Punch. Perfect. I did a lot, actually. Okay. That's okay. Because I can close combat you and Haze. I think they have to tear the Annihilate now, right? Because if you don't tear the Annihilate, I think you just lose instantly. I could Draco Meteor, but like Draco Meteor is like an auto loss if I do uh, miss. I'd rather just Haze now. And who knows? Maybe I live Rage Fist. Rage Fist, I think, is close, but I'm pretty sure I live. If I don't, it's really problematic, but I'm hoping I do. I mean, it's only plus two. And it's a really weak Rage Fist because I haven't hit the thing at all. Close combat. Goodbye. Okay. They have a Tarot. I'm still shocked by that. Unless they tear it early and I completely forgot, but I don't remember them. Yeah, they Dream Punch to get Dragalge again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ace? I don't think they KO me with anything other than maybe Rage Fist? Uh, Rage Fist is a question mark, though. Yeah, they didn't tear anything. I go Iron Hands here, and I'm going to go for an accurate attack. I'm just going to go for the Terra Blast. Because I'm pretty sure with the com Because if they tear, right, and they're not like Terra Ghost... And I just fake out the next turn and be completely fine, right? <laughs> and I get enough chip damage throughout the long term because they can't set up the bulk ups plus KO my mods at the same time. Yeah, they go for Rage Fist. Does this KO? Yeah, it does. Rage Fist, I think, would have been really close to KOing me the previous turn. I'm really surprised they didn't go for that, but Dragalge will go down here. But it's done his job, basically. Now it's the question. I. I think we have the sealed though. I think we just do way too much with a headlong rush. The only concern is I don't have enough power points potentially <laughs> because this isn't power pointed up. Oh, we'll find out. Wild charge. I am so scared. I'm going to lose this game off not having power pointed up the headlong rush because it's not my team. <laughs> always run power, always run power point ups on your high power point moves. <laughs> oh boy. If I actually lose this off <laughs> my power points, that'd be sad. Okay, no protect, so a headlong rush. Perfect. Rage Fist is not KOing. And they bulk up, they just instantly lose. Uh, Rage Fist. Does a crit KO me? I don't think it does. Yeah, a crit doesn't KO me. Perfect. Ball charge should finish it off. Perfect. Ooh, okay. The Gauti was able to do work. KO the Amoongus. Very nice. He set up for the Annihilate that was boosting. Very, very solid. The Scarcrate Tusk put on a lot of pressure uh, since it wasn't the booster bundle. It was a little bit annoying because the Focus Dash actually meant that it could survive hits, but overall was able to put on pressure. The only thing maybe I could have done was Blizzard, the Amoongus, but I actually way preferred the Hydro Pump because if it got a boosted Rage Fist ever with the Annihilate, it actually would have been very concerning for my Dragalge to actually fin finish because I would have gone down to that Rage Fist at plus two. Okay, we have Ashen's team of Dundozo, Tatsugiri, Rory Moon, Iron Hands, the Golden Go, and the Brupa Net. Okay, this is kind of a weird matchup because I Great Tusk is good here. I want to say, I mean, it's faster than a lot of the things, but I am not faster than the Tatsugiri, which is really awkward because if I was faster than Tatsugiri with the Great Tusk, it directed the Oko, the matchup would be a lot easier. I also don't have free shot on the bundle, so kind of a weird game. Kind of a weird game. I want to go with Arcanine, I think. I think Arcanine, Iron Hands, Dragalge, and the Great Tusk is probably what I'm leaning towards. That's the problem is no free try is just so bad for me on this kind of version. Yeah, it's just so bad for me on this kind of version. 
So I think I go Arcanine plus... I want to say Dragauji? Do I want to tear immediately? I feel like maybe not. Uh, let's go with the Iron Hands lead. Like, Iron Hands is pretty safe throughout their entire team. Dragauji and the Great Tuss in the back. A Bombasil could put in work, but I don't think it puts in nearly enough. And again, no freeze dry. Not really good with the bundle. Because <laughs> freeze dry is what makes this thing so oppressive. But uh, now Dundozo can actually resist the attacks, as well as the. Not be on the lane. Oh, wow, they just straight up let it. Wow. <laughs> is this this is is this Lumberry or is this Chestleberry? Because I'm pretty sure this doesn't have protect, so I could fake out Wisp here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't see why I wouldn't go for it. They actually just straight up let the Dundas of Tatsugiri. Unless they change the sets. I should be fine. It should be sub rest. So I go for a Wisp here and a Dundozo and I click Fake Out into Dundozo. Okay, Fake Out. And we land a Wisp. Perfect. I don't remember if it was Lumberry or Chestleberry. That's the only thing I don't remember about the Dundozo. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That's a huge, that's a huge thing here. Okay. So... Yeah, wave crash. It's not gonna do that much. I'm going hard into Great Tusk because Great Tusk, because if they go for Earthquake here, which I think is very likely, I think this is a better position, because I can Volt Switch out into the Gouji safely, and then haze away to boost because the rest thing is gonna be a little bit annoying to deal with. Yeah, they go for Earthquake too. I didn't think they would wave crash there, because they kind of need to start doing damage. As you can see, I just tank the attacks really, really well. I get a Volt Switch off into Dundozo. Now we go for Haze with my Dragalgy. Do I need the Terra? I don't even know if I need the Terra. I'm trying to think about what's in the bag. I think I should save my Terra just in case because the Earthquake damage is just, is just not doing enough right here. Enough right now. So we're going to go for a close combat. Ah, head close combat I think is fine into Dundo or Headlong Rush. I want to save the power points, though. I'm going to go for close combat, yeah. And haze. Close combat. Should do a decent amount. Yep. Do they rest? Because the reason I haze is because of the rest here. Now they go for Earthquake again. Okay. Unaware is making it so it does, like, very little damage. There's a burn as well. Dragout used to take, like, 30%. 50%, I guess, with a crit. That's kind of an annoying crit, but that's okay. Because the Haze now means Dundoza might be in range of the close combat from my Great Tusk. And if I can KO the, if I can KO the Tatsugiri, that's amazing for me. So I'm going to try it. Let's try it. Close combat. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Land the uh, Draco Meteor. I don't know if Sludge Bomb actually KO'd the, the Tatsugiri because I don't want to risk that. So let's just go for a Draco Meteor instead. Nice, nice. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Tatsugiri eliminated. Dundoza eliminated. Very, very nice. Okay, we're up a 4-2 advantage. We just got to make sure we don't lose to the back Pokemon, which is still very possible, especially if it's like... Well, if it's Golden Go plus Roy Moon, I think I'm okay. And Roy Moon is one of them. I do have Intimidate. Golden Go? No, Iron Hands. Okay, I think we're fine. The so Iron Hands doesn't do much. We just get an Arcanine for Intimidate. And... Do I want to save the Dragalgy here? Or do I... I mean, it is minus two, so it's not doing that much damage. But I mean, it is still a strong hit for the... I guess it's worth it, right? Yeah, it's worth it. All right, we're going into Iron Hands for the Great Tusk slot. And we're going to go for the Arcanine swap on the Dragalgy slot. I don't think it really matters to order because both of these Pokemon will be able to take attacks really well and then I can start going for the Wisp here and like once I get the Wisp off I think I just win the game because I just keep going for the attacks afterward. I want to see who I get the Terra out of because it's Iron Hands Terra or it's Roy Moon Terra. Roy Moon Terra is probably like the harder one but I mean they're both like very manageable. See a Terra? Roy Moon? Yep. Terra flying. Yep. Pretty much what I had in mind so perfect they're locked into the terra flying 
Now I can fake out, go for the Wisp in the hands the next turn, and then I can start wall charging. Feeling pretty good about this spot. They go for fake out in the hands. There's probably an Acrobatics into Arcanine, which will hurt a decent amount, but I don't think it should do that much. Yeah. So we're going to go for a fake out into the Roaring Moon. We're going to go for a Wisp into the Iron Hands. I mean, if Roaring Moon crits me a bunch of times, sure, then it's going to get really annoying. I guess I could have faked out Wisp the Moon, the Roaring Moon, especially, yeah, since I didn't think it was likely that they protect it, but it's okay. We do land a Wisp into the hands, though, which is very nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a few ways we could play around this. We're going to see Wall Charge into Arcanine. Cool. And then we get back the Citrus Berry, and that heals me back to where we were. Okay. I want to say, I mean, I'm just playing this like a super slow end game, which should always help me win because I don't see how they break through this. I think wall charge actually just chaos the wrong moon out. I think about it and I can just protect. Because they can't knock out my iron hands here and then iron hands just just able to KO back. Yeah, acrobags in the Arcanine because again, they can eliminate it. And then afterward. Yeah, we could just do whatever we want to the iron hands here. Galaxy could win the game. We have literally any of our Pokemon can win the game, I guess, because it's just burned and we have like way too much health on our side. Roaring Moon does go down to the wild charge, and now pretty much we we just play some games with this Iron Hands here. I guess I just like switch out. I could Volt. I guess I just Volt switch here and I go out into yeah Volt switch is fine. Hard into Great Tusk. And Dragalge plus Great Tusk wins. That was going to be forfeit. And yeah, they let Dundozo immediately. Had Haze. Was able to slow it down immediately because the set is like really bad to play passive against uh, when I have fake out pressure and Wisp. So <laughs> ended up not working out for them. And then was able, like, rest was pretty meaningless uh, for them. So nice. Iron Bundle backs Caliber, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, Arcanine, Garganical. Okay. So, booster energy could be a little bit scary. Iron Hands is pretty good against their team. They don't have the best answers to response, especially Terra Electric, actually, on the Iron Hands, which is a really weird one, but it'll work here. It'll actually work here. So, I do kind of like it. Hail mode is not good. I don't like boosting the... or snow mode. I'm still used to calling it hail. It's not good against the ice types, giving them a defense boost, especially when Iron Hands is my main one. If, if it is booster energy Iron Bundle... I gotta eliminate it or make it switch out as quick as possible. I do really like our Scarf Great Tusk right here. I think it's the Iron Hands here. Plus Arcanine. I, I really like that lead. Like combination wise, there's like very little that stops us. The only other lead I could maybe see is like Dragachi lead. So I can dress in like a Sludge Bomb immediately. I think in the Iron Bundle, but I think this is okay. Uh, this in the back, Great Tusk is super solid. And Dragalgy, the Draco Meteor can break through some things. I don't really like the Hail or Snow stuff again. And Iron Bundle, if I freeze dry, it might consider, but like it really doesn't. So I can't hit their Iron Bundle, which is really important to me. So we'll see. Gonna be the lead of Fluttermane Iron Hands. Okay. So Arcanine plus Iron Hands is my lead here. Pretty solid lead for me here. I get into Tamed Elf into the Iron Hands immediately. I can go for a... I think I'd go for the Terra immediately. Go for the Wall Charge into Fluttermane. I'm going to go for a Snarl because I'd imagine this is probably Sash on the Fluttermane. And I can burn the Iron Hands anytime I really want. So just going to go for a Snarl in the Terra Electric Wall Charge. Even if this is like a bulky Fluttermane, it's... I imagine it drops to the Terra Electric Wall Charge right here. The Iron Hands, I can fake out one of my slots. I don't know. If they fake out my Arcanine, I get the Wall Charge off. If they fake out my Hands, I get a Snarl off, break the Sash anyway. So regardless, I think it's okay. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, what are what's your position now? Your swaps, like, Organical, I guess you could just swap out into. I think I'm okay with that. If they swap out into the... Iron Bundle, I don't think it's that much of a matter because of the Snarl right here. But yeah, Terra Electric is going to come out. I don't really need my Terra for anything else in this game. I don't need Terra flying the Dragalgy. So, I think I'm going to come out in Arcanine. Makes sense. 
Boom Blast, but we'll take that with ease. Yeah, like, look at that. We took that super well. Special attack drop, uh, <laughs> gonna matter for that Volt Switch, I suppose, on the Focus Sash Flutter main coming up, but it might matter if they do switch out. Ball Charge. Yep, it is Focus Sash. Okay. I did take a lot of recoil. That's okay. I think I just Volt Switch the Flutter main, and I go for a Wisp into the Iron Hands now. Yeah. So we're going to go for a Willisp into the Iron Hands and a Volt Switch into Flutter Main because if they protect, it's okay because I get the burn off into the Iron Hand slot. They don't have a switch in unless they Terra Fire, which I guess is okay. Unless it's like Sword Sense, but I don't know if it's going to be Sword Sense on this set. I don't know what they... Oh, yeah, perfect. Especially to give me Flutter Main early. That's beautiful. Okay, nice. I do get a Wisp off. Beautiful into you good nice burn nice burn okay perfect and a volt switch afterward drain punch does nothing maybe i should drain punch the iron hands and snarl no i like the wisp better i do like the wisp better volt switch goodbye flutter main okay so that's one of their fast pokemon eliminated which is nice the only problem is i can't switch in hands like super safely i suppose but Right now, Dragalge is looking like a very solid option. So I am going to go Dragalge on... Let's see who they bring out. I'm hoping it's Bundle and I'm hoping that Bundle... Well, I don't know what would be easier. Like, the easiest one I'd imagine is Booster Energy because I can threaten the Knockout with Dragalge and they can't threaten the Knockout into me and I can always go for Snarl. Excalibur is interesting here. Okay. That is actually concerned. <laughs> that is actually concerned. Unfortunately, my Dragalge might have to sacrifice itself here. We're going to go for a Draco Meteor into Vex Calibur. We're swapping out the Arcanine into my Great Tusk here. It should be Icicle Spear into the Dragalge slot and something else coming up. Yeah, I forgot about the Vex Calibur, but I don't think it's like not the worst. You see a Terra come out. Okay. So this is Terra Bex Caliber. Terra what? Water? Okay. That makes sense. If I get Intimidate off, I feel very comfortable my, about my position. They do Icicle Spear my Dragology, which is going to drop it, unfortunately, but... Ah, uh, this is not terrible. Okay. A Volt Switch, yep. So I did catch it with the Great Tuss. I think Iron Hands is the call here. I'm trying to figure out how I maneuver against the Dragauji specifically. I think they have to protect here. I think I had to go aggressive here for the win. I'm going to Volt Switch to Hands and I'm going to switch out Great Tusk into the... Trying to think about what's my best. I mean, I like the Drain Punch option potentially into the hands. The Drain Punch option seems pretty solid. I like the Arcanine swap here. Yeah, I don't think this is that bad. Because Fake Out plus an attack into the Bex Calibur, I think is really awful for them. Because then I could just follow up with another one and it'd be really... I, I feel like they take too much damage while the Iron Hands is not doing anything. Yeah. So they protect to scout for the fake out. I get a drain punch off, so I get some healing. A volt switch, and if this is iron bundle, I get so much HP back. I'd be so happy. Or garganical. Garganical works too. I got intimidated off as well. I'm really liking this potentially. Come on. Nice, nice. Okay, that's really good. Because I can wall charge now. Or I just drain punch again. Drain punch again is actually really good into garganical as well. Okay. Like, look at that health back. Yeah, that's good health. That's very good health. Leftovers, okay. I don't think Bex Calibur can knock me out either right now. Perfect. I'm gonna drain punch the Bex Calibur and... Ooh. I'm doubling out my Arcanine thing in the Great Tusk. I think that this should be swapped to Iron Hands and protect the Garganical, because the double up in the Garganical will pick up the knockout. I don't think they want to risk that, but I don't think you want to risk your Bex Calibur either in this position. Oh, they did. Okay. Icicle Spear does not finish me off. Yeah. 
They actually used stadium with both. I'm surprised on that. All right. Which is fine because I get the drain punch off and then I think I put it in the headlong rush range. So that's probably okay. Yeah. Like I did a lot of health. I get the HP back. Where's the salt here going though? Is it into Kratos? Yeah, that's not super pretty, but it's like manageable. Okay. It's not awful. It isn't awful because I just pin these. I'm pretty sure with the drain punch damage, I'm pretty sure that's headlong rush range. So I think I could drain punch here very safely in a, uh, not the great tusk. <laughs> I think I drain punch the Garganical and I think I go for the headlong rush into the Baxcalibur. I should KO, I think, the Baxcalibur and then drain punch just game more recovery for the Iron Hands I think is pretty valuable for another when I get Intimidate back in. Yep, we see a swap here into Iron Hands. Cool. Okay, perfect. I get the headlong rush. Goodbye, Iron Hands. Beautiful KO right here. I'm probably still carrying my hands here, which is fine. Or they're recovering. Either one works. Probably Salkir is more likely. Yes, yeah, Salkir. Alright. Oh, my only concern about this end game, which I'm very not happy about, is uh, the Vex Caliber, the Recover stall with the power points. I don't have enough power points potentially. Which would be very, very sad. <laughs> which would be very sad to lose to off not having enough power points. Although I have close combat, so I can close combat. Actually, close combat works. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this is pretty close. I think we go Arcanine here and we go for the headlong rush into Bex Caliber. I could do it the other way around too. I don't think I should do that much damage right now. I also don't know protect mind game. This could be protect from Bex Caliber and recover from Garganical, which I think is okay. Let's see. Because I feel like if I go Arcanine and the Ice Go Spear, read that and go for the Ice Go Spear into the Iron Hands, I think I might just lose off that. If they, especially if they get a free recover. Which is why I think this is the best way to deny it, even if it becomes a closer end game with like a safer play I could make potentially. But I'm just worried because like I've done the Great Tusk switch before. Okay, no protects with Vita. So headlong rush. Goodbye, Bex Caliber. That should be game. Cool. All right, beautiful. Ooh, boy. Is this recover? This probably is recover. Yep, okay. That's a win. Oh, that was super close. That was too close for comfort. All right. Just made some good reads on the back scalper. Back scalper I did kind of forget about, but luckily the Great Tusk was so good in this. But unfortunately, I had to sacrifice my Dragalgy, which could have been used for the Draco Meteor endgame, but I will gladly take this uh, win here. So we go for the Heat Wave, I guess, for the chip, and we go out in Iron Hands. As Great Tusk, we want to go for close combat. They're going to forfeit because, like, if they go for Salt here, I just hard swap, close co uh, hard swap fake out. And then I can just close combat as much as I really want. So, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's go over the games. Game one, I was able to lead Snow and set up an Aurora build that allowed me to tank attacks while spamming Blizzard for massive damage. Game two was able to not give the Annihilate any Rage Fist power increases, focusing on the other slot and forcing it into an unfavorable position with Haze, removing the bulk of boost. Game three with the Dundozel lead, with no protect, made it super easy to deal with the Dundozo straight away with Haze, and then I was able to be in a very favorable 4v2 situation. Game 4, I felt that I had a strong game overall, but I think I should have dealt with the Bex Caliber more effectively, especially having Arcanine in the back to always have to intimidate, since it was 
really hard to deal with it getting the free switch and forcing me to sack a Pokemon early, which wasn't great taking so much damage on the Iron Hand. And Dragaldi, able to do quite a bit of damage. It was really fun to use. And even though we only faced one Dundoza, we did actually get like two haste situations off, which was pretty nice. If you do want to try out the team, there is a rental code on your screen. While it's available, make sure you check it out. And the pay spin of the team and the creator will be linked in the description down below. And make sure you check out the rest of my videos for more VGC content.